Hello there and welcome. It is the eighth day of June 2022 and yes, it is another beautiful and exciting day to bring you the newspaper headlines right here on TAF TV. My name is Cyril Aloysius and of course, as you know, it is and has always been my pleasure to bring you the newspaper headlines, all of the interesting headlines in the papers for today. But shortly before I do that, we'll go on a quick break and when we come back, all of the interesting headlines will be coming your way. Please stay with us. We'll be back after the short break. Don't go away. Hey there. Are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further. With our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Okay, you're welcome back to join me from that um, short break. And first, we shall be looking at the Vanguard for today. And amongst the headlines in the Vanguard, we have here on page 5, this one here says... APC presidential primaries, APC presidential primaries, Tinubu, Osibanjo, and Mechi ahead. Battle 11 other aspirants. That's on page 5 of the Vanguard. And on page 10, we have Owo Massacre, Owo Massacre, Ondo government, Catholic Church differ over casualty figures. Ondo government, Catholic Church differ over casualty figures. That's on page 10. And on page 12, we, on page 6, I beg your pardon, over 20,000 Nigerians trapped in Mali. Over 20,000 Nigerians trapped in Mali. That's according to NAPTIP, NAPTIP, on page 6 of the Vanguard. Still on page 6, we have one dead one hospitalized as building collapses in Kano, in Kano Quarry Market. I beg your pardon. One dead, one hospitalized as building collapses in Kano Quarry Market. That's on page 6. And on page 11, we have Peter Obi, our presidential candidate, according to LP, LP Affirms. Peter Obi, our presidential candidate, LP Affirms. That's on page 11. And lastly, on page 13, we have Senate leader Yahaya Abdullahi Dumps, APC for PDP. Senate leader Yahaya Abdullah Dumps, APC for PDP. That's on page 13 of the Vanguard. Okay, that's the much we can take in the Vanguard for today. You want more details on those headlines you just heard? Look at a copy of the Vanguard for yourself. And taking you straight now to the Daily Sun for today. We shall be looking at page 8, where we have PDP will win 2023 polls, according to IU, IU Boast. PDP will win 2023 polls, IU Boast. That's on page 8 of the Daily Sun. And on, and next in the Daily Sun, on page 6, we have presidential election. Presidential election, Akpabio, Amosun Fayemi give Tinubu boost by stepping down. Pabio and Monson Fayemi give Tinubu boost by stepping down. That's on page 6 of the Daily Sun. And next in page 8 in Daily Sun, we have Nigeria heading to anarchy. Nigeria heading to anarchy. That's according to CAN. That's CAN. UN condemns Ondo church attack. UN condemns Ondo church attack. That's on page 8. And on page 4, we have... 2023 IGP sets up electoral offenses desk in police command. Inspector General of Police sets up electoral offense desk in police command. And next in page page three we have pollution. Pollution. FG plans health audit of Ogoni land residents. FG plans health audit of Ogoni land residents. That's on page three. And lastly, in the Daily Sun, we have on page 28, Soludo mocks Catholic priest. Soludo mocks Catholic priest. Ebube Mwanso calls cleric prophecies fic 
fictitious, politically motivated. Okay, that's on page 28. And that's the much we can take in the Daily Sun for today. Taking you straight now to our next and our last paper for today. We shall be looking at the punch. And amongst the headlines in the punch, we have here presidency, presidency, drama, color as APC holds primary. Presidency, drama, and color as APC holds primary. Okay, that um, for that particular headline. And on page four and five, we have Okada Riders, Lagos Task Force clash. 180 motorcycles seized. Okada Riders, Lagos Task Force clash. 180 motorcycles seized. That's on page four and five of the punch. And on page four and five, still on page four and five, we have Lagos Bishop allegedly rapes female pastor twice. Threatens reporter. Lagos Bishop allegedly rapes female pastor twice. Threatens reporter. That's on page four and five. And next, we have on page 28, talks with federal government panel over strike fruitless, according to SANU, S-S-A-N-U, SANU. Talks with FG panel over strike fruitless. That's on page 28. And lastly, in the punch, we have Owo Massacre, Owo Massacre. Punk Church confirms 38 deaths. Plans mass burial for unidentified corpses. Church confirms 38 deaths. Plans mass burial for unidentified corpses. That's on page 11 of the punch. Okay, that's the much we can take in the newspaper headlines for today. Thank you so much for staying faithful to your screen till this time. But right about now, it's time for us to move straight to our discussion segment, a segment where we throw some light on some of the headlines you just heard. But before we do that, we'll go on another short break. And when we return, we'll take you straight to our discussions for today. Please do stay tuned. Have you registered for your permanent voters card? I mean, your PVC. There is a Nigeria we all seek, a place where love, peace, security, and unity can reign supreme. Waste no time. We want a country where peace and justice will be the order of the day. Unfortunately, there's a problem. One big challenge this generation has to solve. Our country cries for help every day. We need able and capable hands to lead and direct. These capable hands can be you. Have you gotten your PVC? Have you registered for the ongoing voting process? Don't say your vote does not count. Yes, it does. Have you gotten your PVC? Your apathy towards Nigeria's electionary process will further inhibit our collective growth and development as a nation. Your refusal to participate and engage will keep us at a standstill. So be intentional. I have my PVC. Your votes, your voice, would go a long way in preventing absolute destruction of this country and the future of our children, the hope of tomorrow. The 2023 Nigerian elections are just around the corner. Go out and get heard. Don't forget your vote, your voice. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Okay, you're welcome back from that short break. And joining me in today's discussion segment is Mr. Sunny Gamarai. Mr. Sunny Gamarai, you're welcome. Good morning. All right, Mr. Sunny. Um, there's so many headlines in the papers for today, but first, I'd like us to I'd like to hear your take on the APC primaries going on with um, Tinubu looking more likely to emerge the winner. You can see now, um, Akbabio ste has stepped down mm. um, with one other governor. I can't remember two other the governors. name. Two other governors. I can't remember the name right now. So you can see that the, the whole um, selection process right now is, is boils down to who have um, the fattest bag. Mm. So that is how um, the Nigerian politics now um, are still set to. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> Even though I don't want Tinubu to win, or I don't want him to come near 
Asu Rock, but you can see that um, for now there's nothing we can do because the law already is favoring them. Mm. Okay. So what's your take on the Ondo State um, government's say on the tragic event that happened at the Owo Church? You know, there's a particular headline here which states that there is some bit of discrepancies. Yes, on the actual figures of casualties that actually happened. Yes, I, I think um, in Nigeria, for me, this is not new because um, you can see that we have this all the time. Even um, with the stampede that, that happened here in River State, Nigeria, you can see that they were not, the police was not able to, to come up with an actual figure mm. of what happened. Up to now, the police haven't done any official press statements saying, okay, this is the actual figure of people that died. This is the actual figure of people that got but, injured. But in know? this case, in this case, I think, don't, don't you think it should be the, the, the people of um, Owo who should tell the government I, how many persons yes, actually died? Yes, I think the responsibility um, um, should lie more with the church because, um, okay. Like here in River State, some, some um, churches have good data, database mm -hmm. in terms of who come into the church for a particular service, okay. you know, and um, some of them sit with the electronic um, medium of um, registering people into the facility, mm. just like the way we, we saw during the COVID-19. Some churches still keep to that, um, to that um, um, system. Yes. But for the, uh, for the Catholic Church, I've never seen them do electronic registration when you come into their facility, okay. you know. So I, I think um, getting the actual figure for them will be really difficult, you know. From what I normally, from some of the churches I see here in, in the south, you know. Then another, another thing, um, I, th I think because right now they cannot even still identify s some, some of, of the, the corpses. The, yes, the corpses, they could not identify the families and, and the government actually wants to do a mass burial yes, for those corpses. They, they cannot identify the families because you know some people maybe they are independent. You know maybe take for instance a young yeah, guy that's on independent own, yeah. that is living on his own in on those states and mm. maybe his family is in Lagos or his family is in Abuja. You know, nobody knows what's happening. And right now the the government is saying that um, they will do a mass burial. And, and I think if they do a mass burial, it's going to be really difficult for people to really know what happened to their family. Yes. Because up to now, some of the bodies have not been identified. Hmm. Okay, um, shortly before we call it a day, I also want to hear what you have to say concerning the, um, the talks between FG, FG panel over strike being fruitless, according to SSANU, that's SANU. You know why it's fruitless now? <laughs> now they are talking about um, who is going to go into... See, as far as I'm concerned, just like I said in earlier the strike on, is one, now one, time, one time I came here, I said that they will not call off this strike until after these primaries. They are, uh, maybe when they start campaigning proper for the election, that's when they will sit up and start running around to see how they call off the strike. But, but should it be that way? Because students are actually suffering, students are at home. For now, what is important to Nigerian government and the politicians is the APC, is the primaries for, for their parties, mm. you understand? And so, they feel like so the students yes, are actually they don't see uh, They don't see education as them. Um, because if you're putting education as your priority, okay. something that is on your, on, your, on your list of priorities, like one to three is number one or number two, Okay. You have tackled it now. Look so, at. so if things are actually going this way, don't you think it puts a big question mark on, um, should I say, their, their credibility and, and their accountability as leaders? Because you haven't settled the issue of education and you want to jump into elections. And from the look of things, they are not even sounding or acting like the, the strike is going to be called off anytime soon. That so, should tell you that they don't really care about you. <laughs> wow. They don't really care about you. Wow, it's, because a, it's, a, it's a sad one. percent of them, their children don't live, live here in Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. So their children don't even go to the school you, you go to. They don't um, walk on the same street you walk on. So Which, which explains the reason why yes, so, they, are, they, so, they feel less yes, concerned. Because if, okay? if, if I, to, even, even with you, the, maybe you live in a compound where you, you, sh you share 
you share comp space with your neighbors. There are some certain things that you don't want to mingle yourself with because you just feel, oh, it's none of my concern, you know. Okay. Just, just for instance, um, look at them. Um, um, generator when you on your generator mm. do you care if your neighbor have have light <laughs> you just on your generator because you can afford it okay uh, mr sunny thank you so much for your time on the show today thank, thank you so you. so much and as for you who has been there and um, watching us thank you so much for staying faithful to your screen but unfortunately this is where we have to call it a wrap on the show for today and don't forget you can also be a part of this discussion you can drop your suggestions or your question in the comment section of any of our social media platforms you can also follow us and please subscribe to our channel on youtube we are tap tv on instagram we are tap tv underscore ng on facebook we are tap tv and on twitter we are tap tv my name remains serial alloy shoes and until we come your way again next time do have a wonderful day